ideas to add pressure relief to your daily life. Part 1. How to use this guide. It can be difficult to add pressure relief to your daily routine. There are a lot of different reasons that someone might not follow pressure management recommendations. This guide gives suggestions for ways to work around some common problems people have with pressure relief. Go through and see if any of the suggestions will work for you and your life. Barrier 1. I lose control of my wheelchair. Sometimes when people tilt or recline in their wheelchair, their arm slides back. This can cause them to lose contact with the joystick or control panel. To prevent this, they either do not tilt or recline as far as is recommended, or do not do it at all. Suggestion 1. Talk to your OT, PT, or wheelchair specialist about adding an elbow block or contoured armrest to prevent your arm from sliding back. Suggestion 2. Talk to your OT, PT, or wheelchair specialist about getting a recovery button. Its only job is to get you back to sitting upright. You can keep it in your non-dominant hand or it can be added to another part of the wheelchair. Suggestion 3. Only use full tilt and recline when someone is present to help return you to an upright position. Barrier 2. I do not have time. Sometimes the idea of doing pressure relief every 30 to 60 minutes for 1 to 3 minutes can be too much. These recommendations are based on research but do not always fit into your daily routine. The best way to add pressure relief to your schedule is to add it to activities you already do, especially ones you enjoy doing. Suggestion 1. If you are leaning forward or to the side to reach something, hold the position for a few extra seconds. This gives you some added relief to your bottom. Suggestion 2. If you are watching TV, do pressure relief during the commercials. And this gives you regular timed reminders but does not take away from your show. Suggestion 3. If you are listening to music or watching TV, recline to a point that you can still see the TV and stay in that position for as long as is comfortable. Suggestion 4. If you cannot do pressure relief as often as is recommended, do it for longer each time you do it. Hold the position for more time to give the tissues a break and let the blood flow back in. Barrier 3. I do not want to be seen as unproductive or I cannot do anything from that position. If you are working or in school, you may feel like people think you are not doing anything when you tilt or recline all the time. These positions may also make it difficult for you to do things, such as write, use a computer, or play a game. Suggestion 1. If you are comfortable doing so, talk with your supervisor and coworkers and let them know why you are getting into those positions. You only need to share as much information about your condition as you are comfortable with. They also may be able to think of times or places that make the most sense for you to reposition yourself. Suggestion 2. Use a mouse or keyboard that can sit on your lap so that they can move with you. If you use voice recognition software, secure the microphone in a way that it will not fall off while you move. Suggestion 3. 
if you use a laptop, position it on your lap while you are doing pressure relief so that you can keep using it. Suggestion four, choose a spot in the room where you're not at the front or center so that other people do not notice how often you do pressure relief. Suggestion five, Standing is often seen as more acceptable, so if safe, stand at the back or side of the room when you are in an office or classroom. Suggestion 6. When you are using a video game controller, use a strap around your wrist so you do not lose it while you move. Suggestion 7. Use natural pauses during or in between games to do pressure relief so that you do not miss anything. Suggestion 8. If there is a recorded version of a textbook, required reading, meeting, or lecture, listen to it while sitting in a pressure relief position. If you are part of a phone or video call, Use a headset with a microphone. Suggestion nine, use pressure relief as short breaks while you work. Short breaks can help you focus better on what you are doing. Barrier four, it takes up too much space. Tilt and recline either together or separate, take up space because you are taking the size of your wheelchair and spreading it out more. Suggestion one, use other pressure relief positions when you are in a tight space. Suggestion two, create a space that is used specifically for pressure relief that gives you enough room to tilt and recline as needed. Suggestion three, if you are in a smaller space, tilt and recline as much as you can to give some pressure relief. Barrier five, I cannot breathe or swallow in those positions. When tilting or reclining, your body changes positions and can feel uncomfortable to some people, even changing their breathing or swallowing habits. Suggestion one, do not tilt or recline as much. Suggestion two, use respiration or suction machines while you are in the pressure relief positions. Suggestion three, talk to your respiratory therapist about other respiration machine settings to help improve breathing in different positions. Suggestion four, talk to your doctor about medicine that can can help decrease how much saliva you make. Barrier six, I am scared to tilt back that much. Tilting can make some people feel like they are falling backwards out of their chair. This fear sometimes stops them from doing pressure relief as much as is recommended. Note, power wheelchairs are very bottom heavy. They are built to safely balance your weight while using the power features. It is incredibly difficult to tip over in a power wheelchair. Suggestion one, slowly get into each position. You do not need to move quickly from upright to tilted, so take your time to get comfortable. Suggestion two, Use other pressure relief positions that are more comfortable for you. Suggestion three, before going into the positions, put your chair in front of a bed or sofa. 
That way, when you move back, you know there is something there to catch you. Barrier 7. I do not like to do pressure relief when I am alone. Tilting or reclining can make your body move in the chair and may limit your control of the chair. You may need someone else's help to move yourself back to sitting, meaning that if you are alone, you could be stuck until someone comes to help you. Suggestion 1. Do pressure relief positions where you know you will not lose control of the chair, such as not tilting as much as you would. Suggestion 2. Plan your pressure relief for times that you know someone will be there to help you. Suggestion 3. Talk to your OT, PT, or wheelchair specialist about ways you can stay in place during pressure relief. Suggestion 4. Talk to your OT, PT, or wheelchair specialist about getting a recovery button. Its only job is to get you back to sitting upright. You can keep it in your non-dominant hand or it can be added to another part of the wheelchair. Barrier 8. I move out of a comfortable position or slide out of my chair. When you change position, different parts of your body can slide out of their comfortable, supported position. It can make it hard for you to find a comfortable position again on your own. Suggestion 1. Talk to your OT, PT, or wheelchair specialist about things that can stop you from sliding, such as elbow blocks or seat belt. Suggestion 2. Have someone around you who can help you readjust your position. Suggestion 3. Let gravity work with you. If you need to scoot yourself back in the chair, tilt the chair back a little bit. That way, gravity can help you slide back into the seat. Suggestion 4. When you come out of tilt and recline, do recline first, then tilt. This way, recline will not slide your bottom forward in the seat as much. Barrier 9. I forget. With everything you do each day, it is easy to forget to do pressure relief, especially if it is not already part of your routine. Suggestion 1. Add pressure relief to activities you already do, such as watching TV or getting ready in the morning. If you add it to your current routine, it will be easier to remember it. Suggestion 2. Add reminders to your phone or smartwatch that will tell you when you need to do pressure relief. These can be timers or alarms you set individually, or you can set them to happen every day at the same time. Suggestion 3. Some wheelchair companies have their own apps that give reminders based on research recommendations. However, these often require you to be connected to the internet and your wheelchair to be on to send reminders.